everyone, it's Uniquely Ms. Carly. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm actually super excited to kick off this new series of wigs. I, like I mentioned in a past video, I love watching beauty YouTube videos and what happened was I somehow just spiraled out until I got watching wigs. Thank you, the beauty of YouTube videos for that reaction to happen. So what I learned is that a lot of wigs are inexpensive, which are all the wigs that I have. So I actually call them shoes for my head and it makes sense and it makes me feel good. Also, the wigs that I get are from a website called wigtypes.com. All the information will be below. Please look in the info area. I will list everything that I know about what's going on on my head right now. So I kind of wanted to take this first video and go over some essentials that I learned and that I need for wearing wigs. And then all my other wig videos would just be the straight up wig. I want to get started with having or needing a wig cap. So this is a wig cap, pretty basic. I've actually, I know like Halloween times, I've actually just used like a nylon sock and put it over my head. It worked, it's fine. It's all the exact same thing. Um, so I actually, I wear this nude wig cap, which I do have on currently right now. And it comes in all sorts of colors. So not, you don't have to choose nude. And a main reason why I wear the nude cap is because my hair is red underneath. So since I do wear it parted this way, I just wouldn't want any of my red hair to show through the part. So, but you don't have to wear this. It is optional. I just feel like I'm more in place when I have it on. Kind of like wearing a bra. You know, you just feel a little, little together, if you will. So, um, but, all of these wigs, whoops, they all have the clips inside which secure onto your hair. So it's gonna be all in place. And I still clip them in even with wearing this, even though um, when you do clip them, they would clip underneath uh, this cap right here. So, and also all of my wigs are front lace wigs because those are the ones that I stumbled upon and they seem pretty popular amongst all the wigs. Now, I don't know anything about any other type of wig other than these front lace wigs. So maybe later in life, I'll get into those. So I kind of wanted to go over what happens when you get your front lace wigs. And so this is a wig that I actually have not cut yet, which I will do a video on. Yes, that is coral on the bottom. Um, when you get your wig, it will have a front lace per the name. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a pair of scissors and just cut along the hairline as close as the hairline as you can get. Just, just cut it right off. And then also something I learned uh, about from wearing a, um, from YouTube videos is that you're actually going to take a pair of tweezers and you're gonna cut, and you're gonna just pluck out the center piece right here for your part right here. If you actually look at your part, your natural part, you will notice actually um, how much skin you can actually see. So that's what I learned on how to make your wig look more natural is just making sure that the part um, is plucked out. And then also what some women do is they will add a concealer in a powder or whatnot to this center part to make it look more natural if you're if it is not the right color just a little trick of the trade so let's get going with this wig um like i mentioned it's actually one of my favorite wigs um because it just falls so perfectly first of all i love the silver color my hair would never lay like this if i tried even if I tried real hard, maybe for 10 minutes, and then it would start to do whatever it wanted to do. So that's why I absolutely love this wig. I feel very, very Vogue and very, you know, posh when I wear this wig. Um, so this wig actually is by the brand, The Wig, 
and it is front lace of course and it is the LH Nikki in the color shimmery silver I actually had seen this wig when I bought it it was in a shimmery silver and just a straight silver I kind of wish I would have bought the straight silver as well um, I did get this from wigtypes.com as well so this wig is actually a partial Remy and synthetic wig. It's one of, it's the only one I can't really tell, you know, what parts are natural and what parts are synthetic. I have no idea. I can't really even tell. Now, also these wigs are generally always heat safe, but I do not see on here where it says that. Oh, this wig is heat safe up to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. Um, so there's that. Also, I want to go over that the wigs from wig types and really any other site you're going to get is they all come packaged pretty, pretty nicely. This one came in this nice box right here. I love it. I've actually dedicated a large drawer in one of my dressers to store all of my wigs because they're either bagged or they're boxed and I absolutely think it's a, a great way to store them. I kind of feel like it's magical like I open the drawer like which one am I gonna wear today? Ah, I love it! So please let me know if you have any questions in regards to this wig and I hope all of you uh, will enjoy wearing wigs and like I kind of want to actually now that I'm talking about this wearing wigs I have to say you know that some for some people including me even though I'm totally out of the box it was a total out of the box move for me and here's the bottom line with people if someone is judging you for something they're judging themselves so don't worry about other people just do you, wear wigs, have fun, and who cares what people say? And if it looks fake, who cares? As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. So just go out there, have fun, and don't worry about what society may think. Oh my gosh, she's wearing a wig. Oh my gosh, who cares? Just wear them. So uh, thank you all for watching my video. I love you all. Thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe. And please email me, Instagram me, Facebook me, anything you'd like to do. And I would love to hear back from you and making more videos, whatever you'd like to see. And thank you for following me on my journey.